wants to be more attractive on their photos. But your photo should be unique to get noticed on social media. So here is a tip for you to make your photos more attractive and unique using some Photoshop editing techniques. <laughs>
I'm just removing the inverse of this uh, selection that is I'm just removing the background for that I have to go to the select and inverse now I select the background I am just pressing the delete button and removing the background so here the selection is still there so I am just going to deselect it by select deselect so now we got the layer in which we are having only our messy and uh, what we are going to do is uh, we have to move this particular layer above this as we know that in this particular layer the layer one we are having the pixel which we selected from the background image so for the time being I am just hiding this layer and we got this layer only and here we are having the selection of the background so I am going to do the pixel stretch first for that I am selecting the free transform tool go to free transform okay I'll be just uh, increasing the I'll be just stretching this towards this I'll keep up to here okay not completely okay I'll just keep up to here and here also I'll be just keeping up to here okay and now apply it and now what we are going to do is uh, we are applying a filter to the stretched pixels for that we have to go to the filter and here in the distort I will be selecting polar coordinates see as you apply the polar coordinate you will be getting an image like this if I am zooming out this you can see our image will be like this see we, we got a circular pixel stretch from this image okay now we got it and now we are having uh, this in the background and I'll be enabling the visibility of this layer so we'll be getting like this and what I'm going to do is I am going to scale this layer once again using a data free transform okay so keep this uh, aspect ratio enabled and I'll be just scaling this as much I can um, okay I'll be scaling this here up to here and I'll be just rotate this to this direction okay a little bit this okay and now just apply this okay now we got it like this so some portion of the circle has gone out of this uh, canvas so I am expanding the canvas for that go to the image click on the reveal or so it will reveal all the pixels available in this particular image now we have got something like this and I am going to remove these areas using our eraser tool so just use the riser tool and keep the brush uh, as you want you can increase the size also now I start rising these areas okay. <laughs> we got an empty area here and uh, behind our footballer Messi there is the pixel stretch which is made from our footballers uh, image itself and uh, see now the background is here so this is not actually required this background if you want to keep the background you can keep it or else what you can do is uh, we can apply a gradient background for that I'll be just uh, selecting a new layer and there I'll be applying a gradient background so I'll be selecting a color a radial background and only two color gradient so I'll be selecting this color as uh, one of the darkest area of the jersey and uh, this will be the lightest area of the jersey or anyway this will be the white color itself I'll be creating this as a new gradient and okay now I'll be enabling the radial 
gradient button and just drag so we're getting like this uh, you can make any direction uh, as you wish you can make uh, so we've got something like this and uh, we have made a very simple uh, pixel stretch effect from the footballers uh, bar kicking paws and you can make any kind of uh, uh, additional editing to this image so if you want to give a uh, more depth to this uh, just duplicate this layer okay and I'll be removing one I'll be just hiding the upper layer and in the lower layer I'll be uh, select this uh, the complete pixel using the magic wand tool for that I'll be clicking in the empty area and select inverse okay and just fill a um, black color here okay just fill the black color selected the black color and uh, just press alt backspace to fill the foreground color over the selected area so we got this one and just select uh, deselect okay and I am going to apply a Gaussian blur for this layer filter go to filter blur and Gaussian blur apply uh, 5 pixel as the blur okay we got it now it is here behind that and now you can see that uh, this is the so I'll be just moving this little bit uh, left side so using the move tool just move it or else you can just move this using the arrow tool a little bit here okay just adjust now this is uh, too much of black so I'll be just making this as a multiply layer transparency mode and I'll be reducing the opacity to 50 so it will be blended like this so now we've got the pixel stretch effect you can uh, also apply uh, the same shadow depth effect to this background if you want and if you want you can apply some color correction techniques also I'll so I'll be just applying some color correction techniques uh, I'll be using an adjustment layer of level to give more uh, contrast to this image so I'll be just increase the contrast to like this or I'll be just increasing the contrast number three so it will give more contrast to this image uh, better I'll be selecting contrast number two okay so this is uh, somewhat uh, more attractive and I'm also applying an adjustment layer of vibrant see I have already made a video on how to make your image more attractive using adjustment layer and color correction techniques so if you haven't watched that video you can watch it uh, from my previous uh, video section that uh, is there in the description here I am applying the vibrance tool I am just increasing the vibrance so it will be more attractive so I will be giving uh, an 85 and then saturation just giving 5 so we got a much attractive image and if you want to apply masking anything you can apply if you haven't watched those videos which is there in my previous uh, video series uh, film poster design series which is there in my description as a playlist you can watch it see we started the image like this it was earlier like this we just applied this much of techniques here and now we got it a pixel stretch effect see I used some complicated background image you can do it with a very simple uh, background image so that you will be not uh, having trouble in removing the background and you can do it uh, with any image of viewers or any models uh, the basic thing is that uh, the pose will be somewhat of uh, an action or the pose will be somewhat uh, a dynamic pose you know which is uh, like this or any kind of pose which actually doing any kind of action so that will give more attractive effect for the pixel stretch effect so now I made a circular pixel stretch effect 
from the image of our favorite footballer Lionel Messi. So that's all for today. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And this tutorial is actually made upon your request. Many of my subscribers requested to make a tutorial on pixel stretch effect, which is the trending photo editing technique. So I made it for you. So before I leave, I would like to request you to please subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. And the button is right here. Please click on that and click on the bell icon button also to get the notifications for all the videos because a lot more videos are lined up in my channel. So that's all for today. See you in the next video with another topic. Till then.